This is Facematch, a website to rank people based on their looks. I also want to create a similar website, but I don't think so I can use someone's photo without their consent and not get into any trouble. I guess I'm not Mark Zuckerberg. That's why I decided to make the website, but for YouTubers. And this is the idea. You will see two YouTubers photos side by side and you will click to choose who is a better YouTuber according to your choice. And by doing it for multiple YouTubers, you will create a list of best to worst YouTubers according to your preference. Yeah, it sounds simpler than making a website with no experience. That's why I gave myself only two days to build a website. Oh, uh, I, I forgot to mention, I will name this website Usmash because YouTuber plus Smash. Uh, maybe I should start now. First, I need to collect photos of lots of YouTubers. So I spent some time with Google hopping from website to website. And finally, I found a site with photos of many famous YouTubers. But if I manually try to download each photo, uh, it would require me a lot of time, which I don't have. So I will use Beautiful Soup to pass the HTML content. Then iterating to each line of HTML, I will check if any of the line contains these two attributes. If it does, that means this is the image. Then using some slices. I will extract the image URL. After that, using the power of wget, I will download the image into a specific folder. And I think so I have enough photos for now, which filled my body with confidence. So I started working on the front end, which if you see from the movie, looks very basic. So first I set up a basic Flask web server. Then what I thought would be the most easiest thing turned out to be the most annoying thing. Uh, let me explain. I started by creating the main div that will contain all of the elements of the page. And then I gave it a width, height and background color. However, when I checked the page, the background color was missing. And I reviewed the code so many times that I felt like I have at least lost 2% of my vision. Uh, despite the efforts, I couldn't locate the issue. So I turned to ChatGPT for help and the response that I got uh, wasn't what I was looking for, as usual. But finally, my eye landed on the problem. I have missed this part from the link tag, uh, which was causing the issue. Uh, but now it's fixed. But I don't know why there is some gap. Uh, how do I fix it? Uh, I don't know. I guess I need to take a break. Let's watch some Mr. Beast videos. I just bought this a $100 million mega mansion. And the last one of you to leave this keeps it. <laughs> And after my very short break, I did my as usual debugging process and it was an easy fix. Surprisingly, the next couple of hours went smoothly without any errors until I came across another issue. If any of the images have different size, the image will overflow. Now to fix it, I watched some YouTube tutorials and it was fixed. Now it's time to polish the website. And it's looking like the website from the movie. Yeah, it's quite similar. So my front end is done, uh, which means I'm going to sleep. Good night, coders. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. So after I woke up, I realized I have only done the front end part, uh, which is around 10 to 20% of the website. That means I have to finish the remaining 80% today. So let's start by quickly drinking a cup of coffee. And after my coffee break, the first thing I need to do was to learn about this alien looking math equation and what it does. And to my surprise, it wasn't as complicated as I thought it would be. It's called the ELO system. In this system, all the YouTubers slash players will start with the same initial score. When any of the two players will compete, uh, let's take Mr. Beast and Mark Rover as an example. So first thing we need to do is to calculate the probability of both players winning using this equation. Since both players have the same score, the probability of winning both players is 50-50. Now let's say I choose Mark Rover as my favorite YouTuber. Uh, sorry Jimmy. I just bought his entire family. Then using this equation, I will calculate the new score for both players. And that's it. It's that simple. So now let's convert this equation into a 
That was fast. But how would I organize matches between players? Mm, after thinking for a while watching some shorts, I have this idea. I will use a list of lists. This list will contain the index of each player along with the total number of matches they have already played. Depending on how many matches the player has already played, this function determines the index of their next opponent. But now as I have all of this data, I need to store them somewhere. For that, we need a database. But the problem is, I have never worked with database. So I don't know anything about database uh, besides the fact that database stores data. Oh my god, bro. So I searched for a database that I could use with Python and I came across SQL Alchemy. SQL Alchemy, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's a Python SQL toolkit. So without wasting any time, I started learning about SQL Alchemy by reading documentation and watching tutorials. But honestly, I didn't understand anything. Uh, maybe because I was watching too many tutorials or because I was doing all of this at the middle of the night. Eventually, I got so demotivated that I almost scrapped the video. But then suddenly this meme came to my mind. Making a database out of a text file. Obviously, it's not that practical and it has its own challenges. Also, it's a very stupid idea. But since I need to finish this project within few hours, and I don't have any other options. I'm going to use a text file, uh, actually a Python file as a database because I think so it would be much useful and easier. Spoiler alert, I was wrong. So the first database, uh, I mean Python file I created was to store YouTuber name and total score as a dictionary. Then I created a list of lists, another list to store player name as an array and another file to store total number of YouTubers so I can add more YouTubers in the future. But how would it know if a new YouTuber photo was added in the direct if the current number of photos is in the directory is greater than the total number of YouTubers, that means a new photo or photos were added in the directory. And if so, then I will update the database with the details of new YouTube. Then of course, I will also increase the number of YouTubers based on how many YouTubers were added. Sounds good. So let's add this photo into the image direct. Now let's see if the code can detect. And yeah, it can. And also it updates the database. That means it works on the first try. <laughs> Now let's display images of YouTubers on the website. First, I will generate a random number ranging from 0 to the total number of YouTubers minus 1. Then I will use the function I wrote to organize matches to organize a match for the randomly generated index. And after a little bit of work, I can display the images of both YouTube. But what if I try to click on my favorite YouTube? Uh, nothing will happen. But after using some JavaScript, I can send a small message to indicate which image was clicked and which was it. And based on which image has won, or loss, I can use the functions that I wrote to give a new score. With the new score, I can update the database. So here we go. Let's test. I will choose MKBHD. Okay, it works. Now I will uh, PewDiePie. Uh, I think so we have a problem. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because I'm using Python file as a database. Okay, I tried using many debugging methods. Print statements, commenting random lines, uh, but still no nothing is fixed. And at last, I decided to take help from ChatGPT. And guess what? It was my biggest mistake. Can everyone please write on the comment section? Fantastic, unbeatable, creative, knowledgeable ChatGPT. But anyways, I was still trying to fix the issue and obviously was failing. But after some time, uh, uh, this happened. I randomly decided to remove debug equals to true and then it was working fine without any issue. Uh, I don't know why or nor do I want to know why because I only have few hours left. This time I will make the page to display top YouTubers from most to least go. And with that, it's done. Let's take a final test. First, I chose through multiple YouTubers, uh, which was fun. And after making many tough decisions like this, I think so I have my top ranked page. But before I show it, I want to say something. I overly underestimated this project. At many points, I thought it would be easy, but it wasn't. And I also learned a lesson to never use Python file or any kind of text file as a database. Oh God, it was painful. But anyways, if you want to use this website, uh, the code is in the description. And if if you can please make it better but enough let's look at the top page and mr beast is number one quite literally but let's see who is my least favorite and it's jake paul i don't know why 